um, I'm wondering whether you can actually see this. It is the most beautiful bouquet of flowers that I've ever seen. Um, I received this from my lovely friend and her children, the little girl that I mentioned who talks about the pollywogs and goes to bed with Sherry's book. And I thought I would just try and show you on the cam because this is my birthday giveaway and I thought you might just like to see these I've never seen these are just unbelievable they are really really huge and I'm just being a crafter I'm wondering how I could possibly save these so that they could be used <laughs> you know what us crafters are like um I was just amazed the kids are absolutely adorable they come to me if mum's working and dad's working at the same time they are both NHS workers and they work in a care home and in the care home uh, obviously you know it's very very difficult for them they have been able to carry on while others haven't and um, you know when it first started this Covid thing because there was no proper PPE and it was a really really difficult time um, but the kids just love coming here and playing and um, they know exactly where the sweetie boxes are in this house um, but I just thought I'd just show you that I was just so tickled pink um, I'm going to show you a couple of other things later um, but I just want you to do the giveaway first now this will be up uh, where are we now we're on the we're on the 8th of October today so I'm going to leave this up for two weeks to give people a chance to come in because last time I did the giveaway there was a lot of people coming in late um, because they've been sent over from other channels and things like this so I'm going to leave this up for two weeks okay now to win this big package okay you need to be a subscriber and leave me a message okay now in the message I would like to know what the favorite bits are in this giveaway I've not actually put a big bow on this yet because um, one or two of the, the, the papers are a bit bigger and I thought I wanted to make sure that they weren't squashed when I put them in the actual envelope that they'll be going off with um, I might have to fold the back one um, so I didn't mess around with that just yet until it's ready to go away and obviously I didn't want to sort of crush the papers so what we have in here um, there's a wee tag from me and this is one of the fabric tags that I made for fabrication the 30 day tag challenge that Andrea from RT Mays and Tracy from Tracy Fox did and that will be signed by me you know I'll just put a little thank you on it now this lace is 50 year old lace it is starting to get a bit worn and a little bit holy in one or two places but there are 15 of these flowers that can be cut out and we've got all these shapes here and it goes right down to the most beautiful shape at the bottom and it is a really big piece um, I would say it was twice the width of an A4 piece of paper. Um, in fact, if I measure it, I might be able to actually measure it with my ruler. Let's have a look. So we're looking at... It's about 16 and a half to 17 inches. So it's quite a big piece. And going up ways, I would say that was about 11 and a half inches. So it's a very very big piece and it is 50 year old vintage lace I have washed it all because I, I got it off eBay um, no, then. then there's two stencils one says hello autumn and the other one says imagine and I'm hoping I might have to put something underneath at the back so you can actually see it better is that better um, we have a lovely foliage here and different sized butterflies and it says imagine the possibilities now obviously when you use a stencil you might just want this little bit or just little butterflies in a cluster here you can split them up now the book pages the ones on the top 
are from me out of my own personal books and the ones underneath are ones that I've taken out of stuff that I bought from Karma Collectibles UK and I will link them below. Um, <coughs> now these are double sided these that come out of British Book of Plants which have got some lovely lovely images on them. It's a gorgeous foxglove there. And these obviously can be used as, as they are, or cut up. And this one, I just love this book. Um, it has the most gorgeous images through it, and you get a full spread. And as you can see, there's a lovely wee visitor in the garden there, and you've got the doves in the trees. Okay. Um, then I've got some Edith Holden. I'll show you both sides of our Edith Holden. Now this piece, as you can see, is still stuck together. Um, and I left it like that because if you're doing um, a large book, you can just, you know, fold over and make pockets or just leave it as flaps. And then there's another one here that's going together as well. I've got feather worry. Okay, so that's the Edith Holden. Now these lovely monkeys came out another book that I've got. They're um, a children's encyclopedia on animals and I can't remember the date but they really go back quite some way. You can feel by the thickness of the paper. They're adorable. It says an educated chimpanzee. <laughs> it's probably more educated than other people we know. <clears throat> There's an armadillo. And then here <coughs> are pages that I got from Karma Collectibles. A page from Aesop Fables. And there's some lovely flamingos. Now I've included some pages like this that have got, I'm sure you can see it, the staining on and the colour is really, really lovely because these sort of pages are wonderful for collages and clusters. And there's another botanical. I love these words, the way the words are written on the back, look, castor oil. I'm so glad I, I, I grew up where they stopped throwing that down your throat. <laughs> I don't think I would have liked that. Now, this is Charles Dickens. So whether you want to keep the page as it is or cut it up, but it's got the most lovely colour to it. And then this has come out of a mythological book. And I popped this one in. It's a children's book and it says Gay on Ice. Because I thought this is a lovely picture for this time of year. Even if you didn't want to keep the men in, you can cut her out for a lovely winter journal. And again, here's some more, it's a slightly different shade this time, it's slightly lighter. And I've put some lovely women in again, because I know they're always very, very popular. And when they're in black and white, you can colour them up with, you know, glazes and things like that. And then another page, which is actually an anatomy page, this one. Okay, and then I'm just going to get that back out again. I'm just going to undo this card. You will see the card shortly, just so you can see this better. This is rice paper. Now, this is rice paper from Stamperia. Now, I don't know if you've ever had rice paper before, but rice paper is like tissue paper but it has like a fibres in it, silk fibres in it. To take this apart, you know, say you just wanted the flour, you do the same as tissue, you get your water brush uh, with a bit of water in it and you just go round the bit that you want and it tears the same as you would if you had a napkin. But they are really lovely. I've done some projects that I will actually show you at some stage where I've, I've covered a vase and things like this. And they are lovely. The quality of the Stamperia ones is absolutely amazing. And this is a page from the Flora wallpaper books that uh, Tracy Fox was showing. Um, Pepin, P-E-P-I-N. They do um, wrapping papers. Um, you know, they're a modern company. This is, this is a new, new sheet. Um, but they're absolutely gorgeous. And you can cut all these out. Um, you know, you can fussy cut like the nasturtiums out and everything. 
Um, so I thought I would include that because I've only got this a couple of days ago and I just thought this, these are just so lovely. I mean, even the back, the feel of the back is wonderful. So I've included him as well because I thought he would be a lovely, lovely thing to add in. So let me just pop these all back on here a second. And then you will also get some pianola roll. I had it down there so that it'd go flat <laughs> because pianola roll, because it's been for many, many years <laughs> round a tight roll, um, it, it tends to go ping back up into its, like, its original shape. So I've, I'm trying to just get it, keep it as flat as I can. So I'm putting some pianola roll in as well. Now, it's only been really probably the last sort of six months ago or so that people have started using the pianola roll. Um, but it has a wonderful, wonderful feel about it. You think it's going to be very, very thin and um, not very robust, but it is a lovely feeling paper. Um, I cut this with my new guillotine. Um, I wanted a guillotine because when you've got funny hands like mine because of the arthritis, um, when you're trying to cut the edges of a journal, you know when you've put your journal together and you want to slice down um, and you've got your rotary cutter, when you've got funny hands, and I know there's a lot of us with fibromyalgia and arthritis, trying to keep going back and forward, it's not that easy. So I bought a lovely guillotine and it cut this like a dream yesterday and I was just absolutely tickled pink. So this is the giveaway, my birthday giveaway. And I just hope you will all join in. Just leave a comment of what in here you like the most because then when I make the next bundle, because there will be one more giveaway like this bundle, just before, you know, sort of round about November, you know, coming towards the end of November. Um, so hopefully you can get it before Christmas time. Um, and theme. Uh, obviously I've gone quite, so spring and autumn, I've tried to keep it quite neutral in what I've put in this time. Because obviously people are so busy now. And if you're preparing for Christmas, and for Thanksgiving, if you celebrate Thanksgiving, and for Halloween with the kids. It is a lot to do, and you might not have time to use any of this till next year. So I've tried to keep it quite neutral on, on you know, just botanicals and animals that we all love. Um, while I'm talking of um, Halloween autumn, our Sherry West, you know, the author, there is a children's colouring competition in group. I will tell you more about it and show you the picture um, on another video because we only sort of just sorted this out last night. But it is for children only, no adults allowed. So the mum or the dad will download the picture, the children will colour it and then it will be put into group. Now last night they were talking when I fell asleep at about half past one last night about the, the prize and I know it's a really lovely prize. Um, so I will give you more details on that. But if you're actually in Sherry's group, the um, event has actually gone up. Okay. I've not had a chance to read it all yet, but because I wanted to do this early before they got up downstairs and get this onto, onto, this, onto the site. Um, so, as I say, there's a lovely, lovely colouring competition for the kids. I thought it would be lovely for them if they were doing it, you know, for Halloween. If they're, if they're bored at Halloween or for something to give to somebody for Thanksgiving. The picture is actually a cat on a pumpkin and it is so cute. And so, you know, if you've got friends and family, you know, maybe Nana, Grandad, you could send a picture the kids have coloured in. They would love that because obviously you're only going to be putting um, a picture of what the children have, have coloured in. So that's some news for later on. I really, really want to thank each and every one of you who wished me happy birthday. Oh my goodness, I spent Tuesday, from, from Monday, probably around about six o'clock until yesterday, and there's still messages coming up on my Facebook page, wish me happy birthday, and it was um, amazing. I have got through about 130 so far, but there still are some more that I need to reply to, and I will get there. And the lovely Tracy Fox, bless her heart, she put up a, a, a post actually in the group as well. So I was I was absolutely amazed. Um, for me in the past, birthdays 
were forgotten about because guarantee something would happen. You know what it's like when you're with men? The woman gets it in the neck even though it's their birthday. <laughs> so I kind of like gave up on birthdays many, many years ago. And this is the first year I can actually say I had the most amazing day and I actually celebrated my birthday. So a huge, huge thank you to every single one of you. It, it was amazing. It really was. Now, I just want to show you a couple of things that I got through the door. Isn't she adorable? Now, this came from the lovely Victoria at Northern Craftaholics. As you know, obviously, I did DT for our Vicky. Um, and it's so cute. It's absolutely beautiful. And it was designed by Michelle Gallagher. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that very well, but what I will do is I'll put Michelle's details on underneath the video because she makes the most beautiful card. She really does. And I think she's adorable. I've actually, this, you know, this image, I have a lot of these images I used to collect when I used to do the, the um, blogs and, you know, there was a lot of things going on. And, you know, you, you buy the license when you when you get them. And I've got loads of these. And they're just starting to come into the scrapbooking digits. I've just started to see some of the Halloween ones coming round. So it's lovely to think that these were out like about 10 years ago. And we're just starting to see them coming out. And she's absolutely gorgeous. And then the lovely Hina. It has to be purple, doesn't it? How gorgeous is that? Um, the girls actually had me in tears. <laughs> they were just so lovely. Now, I've got the most gorgeous pack of papers from Hina that she's made herself. Aren't these beautiful? She's actually entered a competition and she sent some papers to that and they were being shown last night. These have to be the best dyed papers I think I've ever seen. Well, they're coffee dyed, by the way. You can, you can smell the coffee. It's absolutely gorgeous. Have you seen this bag? How beautiful is this? Absolutely gorgeous. She is just such a lovely, kind heart, Hina. And if you've not read the Foxy Rag yet, the lovely Hina is in the Foxy Rag. Um, and they're talking about the colour purple because, you know, our girl loves her purple. Aren't these amazing? Absolutely gorgeous. These are the ones that you, you don't touch. You just take them out every now and again and love them. I'm hoping you can see this one. They work. It's quite pale. You take them out and you give them a good love and then you put them back in again after they've had a good stroke and then that's it. Um, we had a cupboard like that in the art department when I worked at the um, high school in Manchester. And it was the stuff the kids weren't to touch. <laughs> You know, they might they might get hold of it in maybe 10 years' time. <laughs> um, lovely, lovely place to work, the Abraham Moss High School. And what happened there was I started on the Thursday, uh, on the Monday, and on the Thursday they burnt the school down. <laughs> Try to tell me something. Um, it was actually a high school, and it was attached to a college and a library and an old people's, um, like, get-together place. And uh, it was lovely. And there was a leisure complex as well. And we actually taught in the leisure complex for months. The sad thing was, we'd, uh, you know, we'd just literally got all the beautiful artwork put up onto the uh, walls when the fire happened. So some of the artwork that the kids had done for their GCSEs actually got ruined um it was so sad i mean and one of the um art departments was just completely gone um but saying that there was a teacher he taught english and i saw him and he says well i said something and i looked at him and he brought out a pen out of his pocket the only thing he had was a pen out of his pocket all the music department completely gone, uh, the maths and English departments, it was really, really sad. But my Vicky and her friends and me, we got together one day and we actually contacted uh, several people in government, uh, like uh, our local candidates and different people and one thing or another. And their school actually got a lovely visit. And um, they actually managed to get a million dollars towards building the school by us 
getting this letter together, there was about five or six kids. And with this, the school were able to raise an extra million, which was unbelievable, absolutely amazing. Um, and the new school was beautiful. Anyway, these, look at these. Now, Hina managed to get one of the fishtail um, punches. And we were talking about it the other day and she sent me all these. Aren't they amazing? They are just absolutely lovely. She must have spent hours trying to cut all this lot out. And then the journal. This is this is the magic bit. I saved the best for last. Now she's already put some pictures up into uh, Happiness and Crafting because she used uh, G's purple um, papers. Look at this, it's beautiful. Most gorgeous fabric, absolutely stunning. How's this? I, 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 honestly, I was in tears. Look at this. This is how Edith Holden and she's made it into a little pocket. Okay, I'm not gonna read the letter because obviously that's personal. How gorgeous are these? She has put so much into it. And she's not been too well either. She's she's really not been well. Um, she gets sciatica, uh, which is really, really horrible. It's a horrible thing to get, it really is. And she's just not been too well. And she still managed to make beautiful things. Look at that, the original wings. Um, now, she does like me. When you've coffee dyed or tea dyed first, stenciling over the top and it gives the most beautiful beautiful effect and look at this paper how gorgeous is that this is um what you draw through tracing paper <laughs> see I'm, I'm, that's it dementia's come back how gorgeous are these absolutely stunning I mean, she's put so much work into this. She really is. And um, I, I, I cannot say how wonderful it was when I received this. As I say, I was in tears. It's absolutely beautiful. I just had to do a flip through because she's put so much work in this. I said to her, I says, you know this is going to be treasured and put up. I says, you know, this is going to be one of those ones that the grandkids are not going to be allowed to go near. <laughs> Lovely tuck spot now, I'll pull all that out. Look at that. She's just put so much effort into all of this. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? If you're not already in G's Happiness and Crafting group, do go over and join because she has a Friday freebie every week. She does a video on YouTube of what she's made with her Friday freebie and then the Friday freebie is actually in the group and she's been doing it I think it's about 26 weeks now I'm sure it's 26 weeks and um, they're all there so you know okay you, you may be coming in now but you can get them all and there's actually a lovely video on YouTube at the moment where Hina and Sonia Friskis have both entered a competition and I'm going to link it below. If you have five minutes and you're able to go and watch this, um, Sonia has used some of the papers from Happiness and Crafting. And it'll be lovely for you to just pop in and see the two girls because uh, they are so supportive. They really are the most lovely, lovely ladies. Aren't these amazing? Look at this, Look at this perfume bottle. How beautiful is that? In fact, I used, I've still got one, but the this bit here where the rubber was that is squidgy, it's it's really perished now. <laughs> well, these are just this is just absolutely stunning, isn't it? The work that she's put into this is just absolutely amazing. Um, I'm just so grateful. I really am. This was just the most loveliest surprise. Um, it came a couple of days early and I was very, very good. I didn't open it. I, I left it on the bed. I, the only thing I did open was the card because I thought, I think this is for my birthday, but I better open it first to see, you know, what the situation is. Like you do, you know, just to check. How gorgeous, aren't they? Isn't that beautiful? And the cover is, it just feels amazing. 
so thank you thank you thank you thank you for all my birthday wishes thank you for being with me please leave a comment down below um if you could share i would absolutely love it i really would so i could try and get a few more subbies i'm up to 448 at the moment i would absolutely love to hit the 500 um and maybe one day I might be one of those who do the who get to the thousand one day, but I, that's probably a few months off yet. So thank you for everything. Have an amazing day. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you.